With the new update to Clip Studio Paint version 1.6.2, we get a second application. It's meant to be a store for downloading assets for Clip Studio Paint, brushes, materials, etc. This is clearly a version 1 release with lots of rough edges to be sanded down, but the idea is a good one. So let's take a first look at what it has. First, it's called Clip Studio Assets, but it's wrapped up in a launching program called Clip Studio that provides you links to both Clip Studio Assets and Clip Studio Paint, whether you have Pro or EX. Click on this paperclip looking icon instead of the other paperclip looking one. It's the one that looks more like the email at symbol than the question marky looking one for paint. To start, you'll need to create an account. Click the login button and then register as a new member. This will take you to a Clip Studio account website where you'll need to enter your email address to get started. Now, why Clip Studio account isn't just another tab in the launcher, I don't know, but maybe that's in the future also. In any case, that will fire off an email to you with a verification link. Go to your email program of choice and wait for that email. Click on the link inside to verify you are who you claim to be, and it will take you back to Clip Studio account. At that point, you'll wind up on this page, where you can give your account a password and an ID. The ID is what will show up at the top of your window in the future. Once you have all that, you can go back to Clip Studio Assets. It's still open, so feel free to Command Tab or Alt Tab over to it. Click the Login button now and enter your email address and password. Don't use your ID, just your email address. Now you can see you're logged in. Over on the left sidebar, there's a link to open up Clip Studio Paint and a link for where you currently are in the Assets Catalog. You'll see the store here in the main pane, and yes, it's in Japanese a lot. Nobody said this was going to be easy, and that's why this video exists. But there's still enough English in there to work out what you're looking at, and some extra tools to help you find your way around. These are the new additions to the catalog that they start you on. Since the store is new, of course, everything is really new to us. Click the Detail button next to the search bar to see all the kinds of things you can download, including brushes, materials, auto actions, color sets, and more. With each available item for download, you can see the user who's credited with creating it, a download count, the price, though everything is free at the moment, and there's a star over here if you want to favorite something for later. Click on the image to get a closer look, and if you happen to speak Japanese, a more detailed explanation of what it is. You also get social media links if you want to share something you found and liked. If you like what you see, click the red download button. That kicks off the download. You can watch its progress by hitting the two arrows button above. This window pops up where you can watch the download progress. When it's done, you can clear your history here if, like me, you try to keep some things in your life neat. You can't leave this window open and go back to the other one though. This one grabs the focus for the application and will not give it back, so close it out with the X in the corner and back you are. The big question everyone has at this point is, where did my download go? I'll show you because it's not completely obvious. In the launcher now, let's click on the paint button over here on the sidebar, and that will launch Clip Studio Paint. Now go over to where all of your materials are. Mine are over here on the right side of the screen. You'll see what you've downloaded already in the All Materials section, but you can specify only to see what you've downloaded in the well-named Download section at the bottom. From there, you can drag and drop your new tools to where you want them, as with everything with Clip Studio Paint, it's all configurable. I can take this brush, for example, and move it over to across the screen to an appropriate brush family. Then I can start a new canvas, select my new brush, and draw away. That's a quick run through of the new Clip Studio Assets app. It's really the Clip Studio launcher with an embedded web page for Clip Studio Assets, but it's a good start. For more tips, tutorials, and resources, stop on by learncsp.com. I'm Augie DeBleek. Thanks for watching.